whatever. Anywho, I got banned just because I like, you know, I got uh, Mike David got a shredder tattoo on his neck. And I just wrote on, I wrote a comment on there. I just wrote, Mike's nice. And I wake up to a fucking slap on the wrist. Anywho, let's get the fuck out of there. Let's go over to the Trisha Paytas content. You know, I've been wasting enough time. The show is going to shit. All right, let's hop into this. Trisha Paytas is back. Some people say this is the best part of the show or the worst part, the part where they clock out. But we're going to be deep diving into her fresh new video. She's got some more TikToks, okay? She's got some more TikToks. Shady's here. I didn't even know Shady was here. Where's Shady at? Jules, uh, yes, Julie, a couple minutes back, slow-mo, the music makes everything freaky, I don't know what we're talking about, JT, Nate, uh, Nate hopes not because he's his dream girl, I don't know what's going on, what did I miss, legs, I'm talking about my legs, okay, anywho, let's get into the Trisha stuff, let's start off with like, you know, her ketchup, we're gonna do some ketchup, you know, not, you know, not Trisha's favorite food, or condiment, ketchup, we're gonna be catching up with her latest crap on Twitter, you see what she's up to. Big Mama T's back, heavier than ever. Okay. And uh, I haven't really been keeping up with shit. I never really do. I'm always behind the power curve on everything. You know, sometimes I should probably, you know, I, I see you guys posting in the Discord. And uh, I don't even remember what I looked at. Don't remember what I looked at. Don't remember. So here's her latest stuff. I don't. I think I've looked at everything on here. Obviously, she's gonna be Beetle Geist crazy. Here she is. We've seen this fucking thing. All this crap. Her, you know, today's lunch in Beverly Hills. Her lunch in Beverly Hills was a lot. I had to get off there because I'm afraid. You know, the comments. Always oh, spooked out. I hop on there. Next thing you know, there's titties all over Trisha's jonks, Trisha's wonky tits, her nips. Doing like you know, they're 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 always shifting. I think Trisha can pick them off, put them in different spots. And uh, people like to post her news in the chat or the comments on here. And, you know, I just have to like you think before I pull shit up. Um, this is all bullshit. Here she is looking fatter than ever. Okay. Pregnant. I don't even know if she's pregnant. Spread the word. Don't know. Don't care. Hair's a mess. Mother hair. Not. This is not being a mother hair. Now, I think that did she come out and say something that she's been in bed rest? Uh, Psyduck, what's up? How you doing? Hype for the Trisha stuff. Cody says, crazy how people can't handle criticism. They talk shit about people every day. It'd be crazy. Hey, Psy. However, I think she is on bed rest. Okay, so that's right. I did. That's the one thing I remember that you guys were talking about in the uh, Discord. And then I just saw that JT wrote that, so. I, I am aware that Trisha Paytas can't get up. Her fucking feet are so swollen. She's eating herself into taking a, you know, taking a life. She can't even, she's binding to the bed. I understand whenever you're like, you're pregnant and shit, your shit swells up. You might have a, you know, a day that like, you know, you're going through it. You're struggling. Uh, Gianna says, I don't think she's on bed rest yet, but it's coming. So, I mean, I'm sure she's prepared. She's bought everything she needs. Okay. A couple TVs, a bunch of damn remotes sandwiches okay i feel like there's a lot of compartments on the side of her bed she can pull out drawers just with french fries popcorn shrimp all the good eats it's got a hot plate in there and it looks like she's eating good so speaking of chinese feast trisha paytas is over here having you know one of her favorite three bowls of the day if not four she's having some uh some rice okay now, I'm surprised there's not any meat in there, and I'm really surprised and shocked that these are there's vegetables in here. I feel like Trisha's an anti-vegetable person. Now, they could just be like candy or something, you know, candy-shaped, veg, I mean, uh, vegetable-shaped candy. These could be sweets, Jolly Ranchers, everything good. And just thrown into some rice, okay? Anywho, we're going to move on a little bit. Now, this fried rice looks very shitty. I mean, this is probably straight up, like, tasting like styrofoam. I don't even think she even knows how to cook rice at the right temp. It's probably mushy. It's probably too dry. It's not cooked all the way through. It doesn't stick to the ceiling. Like, Gordon Ramsay says, if you can throw one grain of rice on the ceiling and it sticks, you're good to go. I think. Here she is making an au jus sauce or whatever you want to call that. Some type of, uh, these are little smokies. I don't know if you guys know what little smokies are. You can get them from the convenience store or even at gas stations. They're right next to like, you know, the stay awake pills. 
And she's like, you know, tricking us, making us think that she's like eating light just because there's not a lot on here. This is a lot different than what you think. Now, Trisha's camera has got one of the massive scopes. OK, you ever seen like people, photographers taking pictures of like the Tour de France? OK, they got those cameras that have like the Hubble telescope of lenses. So I'm sure it's about 20 feet back and it's just making things look small. These are these are a stake each. These are probably about. Uh, I don't know, a T-bone. Just one of these chunks is an entire T-bone. And then there's all this sauce. She's going to eat every bit of the sauce. Okay. Fancy TikTok bowls went bye-bye. Yeah, Trisha's, uh, she's the first and last to fall out of a trend. And she's still using her tray, her Moses tray. You know, anything to make Moses feel like shit. She's crushing him with a bowl right over his face. She wouldn't put that on her own picture. She put it over Moses, you know, just let, let him know that she's, you know, got her foot on him. So here's Trisha's disgusting dinner. This is like probably Salisbury steak. Okay. Or it's probably steakums, you know, carnival food. I can't imagine that there's any quality meat here. All right. And she's got to plow this down with like a forklift or something. I, you know, this isn't a regular fork. Okay. It's a forklift. Here she is with the kid, more children content, not a good look. You know, I, and I don't even want to be pausing on this, but this is fucking bullshit. Tell me she didn't fucking, um, I don't know, set it up. How, how Moses isn't coming in for this. Moses doesn't have time. Now, Trisha looks like the dead. She looks like she's dead right now in Minecraft, but she like, she, she looks like she's decaying. Like if Trisha doesn't have like, you know, leprosy or, Something going on, you know, uh, you know, you never know. I mean, like, she's got these bumps, bumps where they shouldn't be. She's growing another one. It could be like a fucking finger growing out or nails or whatever. Scratches. Trisha's always got the unknown cuts on her body. Now, it could just because her skin's so damn dry, it's splitting from the fat. Now, she's got raccoonous eyes right now. This could be like what we would call liver failure, right? Jaundice. You don't have just dark rings on your eyes all the time. That isn't like a nat. Is that a natural Trish thing? She just looks like a fucking scary, you know, some type of ghoulie. Like the Grim Reaper or something. Like her shit be fucking straight sunken in raccoonous eyes. Obviously, this is a setup picture. Trish has got her fucking hand over it like this. Taking the picture. Trying to take a cute picture of her and the fucking kids. So some strange thousands and thousands of mostly bot accounts can look at here's uh you know her text messages let's kind of like let's see this is this is what we call fake text this is fake texting a lot of people do this it's like meme worthy shit where it's like oh my god moses is the best she's got moses's phone she's texting with both of them at the same time formulating what we would call uh a fake response setting up a message opiate eyes for sure vitamin de deficiency a lot of like the black eyed kids, they would knock on your door at night. Spooky stuff. Trish was like, you know, slowly forming into like, you know, some type of, uh, you know, cryptid or something. Trisha could finally do her final evolve like a Pokemon hatch out of her haunted Trisha hairball egg. Trisha's body gets covered in hair like a cocoon comes out. Okay. And she's over there like. Don't look at me. And then she runs out the she crate just makes a crater through the fucking living room wall and runs to the woods and we never see her again. She becomes like, you know, like a myth, like a Sasquatch. People will be like, that never happened. And the few videos that we have left on TikTok will be close to the Gimlin films, like back whenever there was uh Sasquatch, you know, fever. All right. All right. Anywho, this says you are amazing, Dad Moses. Malibu is obsessed with you for some reason. Thank you for all you do. And you know this ain't prayer hands. I learned a long time ago, that's high five hands. So anytime you like somebody dies or something, you're like, prayers? No, you're actually high five and you're somebody for the, you know. I don't think that's prayer hands. I think that's high five. Which kind of works for that uh, sentence, whatever. I go sleepy, so Trisha's already tired. I would imagine, like, after about five minutes of being up, she looks around. She doesn't hear a sound. 
even though she hears Malibu screeching in her crib. She's usually, you know, in and out. Kind of like that, uh, what, what do they call that? Like, uh, sleep, uh, paralysis. Okay, Trisha probably fakes sleep paralysis every damn day. She's like, I couldn't get out of bed. I was seeing dark shadows in my room. They were holding me down with french fries. Okay, she's eating, in there eating a whole box of Cap and Crunch. Moses comes in. He's like, up and at him. Got to take care of your kid. Trisha's like, I can't. Get off me. And then she pretends to sleep with fucking Oreos coming out of her fucking mouth. Pretending she has the sleep paralysis. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Later, Bobby. Hibby. Hibby. <laughs> All right. Anywho. Uh, I'm really grateful for you. I pray every day we get 50 more years together. Doubt it. Okay. I'm surprised Moses said, well, we got to start walking or something, bitch. Okay. You're not going to make it past 49. And she's already 48. So you know, not a good look. Since we do it together, me too. For, this is bullshit. Moses. Now I could see Moses with this cybernetic fucking retard fingers. Okay. With the awkward Moses. It probably took him 20 minutes just to write the second sentence. If you can even, it's not really a sentence, but he writes me too together forever. That's Chucky talk. You ever seen child's play together forever? That's what Charles Lee Ray said to fucking Andy before Andy lit him up, burned him alive. And then Trisha wrote, I love you. Moses wrote, I love you with a different heart, which I could see Trisha doing that. I mean, just trying to have some variety. This is like, and this is her, this is her most me. This is something she had to post. This is like normal bullshit. Like I write this to my cat. I mean, this is like something like, you know, you would write to your girl every, I would never be this sappy. I'd be like, where's my sandwich? Don't have it. Daddy needs, no, I wouldn't write that. But I would, you know, I've been known to be a little piece of shit, sappy lame ass patheticist person I'm pathetic when I'm in a relationship I'm trying to make spaghetti every night it's all I know how to make is it okay babe but then I'm outside running away I need a break anywho it says I cry every day that I got this amazing husband and Malibu the most amazing wait what and Malibu got the most amazing daddy hmm spooky spooky stuff Here's Trisha's first bowl of chips. This is morning chips. Now, obviously, this came along after that. You know, sometimes you work up a hunger after having a ginormous bowl bucket of cornflakes. Kellogg's kind of works up an appetite for an entire chicken breast. Chicken leg. That's probably icing to look like asparagus. I don't know what that is. I, broccoli stems. Probably marijuana. Trish is on the maintenance program. Okay, so we've gotten through that. I did have some old Trish. I'm not going to get into that today. So here's her new baby bump update. She's all vibed out. This is kind of looking like what the setting of that commercial. We are doing the pink cloud powder. And I well, like okay, so she's looking like one of our biggest clouds. The Nimbulus Numbus. Okay, or like, uh, what do they call those things? Those storms or like... Supercells. If Trisha was a cloud, she'd be a fucking supercell. We got the weed and the dog and the coat. Dog. Niggas one now we was robbing the north. Rob. Pistol P, bless his soul. Speed to a loss as I can't let it go. Okay. Got my pregnant belly. This top is so cute and the makeup is amazing, of course. I am so excited. My first beauty campaign ever. Oh my god, I'm like so honored. I can't wait. This is so cute. They'll find him. Diddy's going to be found, okay? He's going to be in one of them holes. He's already been gone. That motherfucker... Oh, oh you think he... Did he go down to the Caribbean? Be one of the pirates. Hey, guys. So... Okay, you can chase down Tom Hanks. You ever seen the movie Captain Phillips? Fucking straight sleeper, bro. Put me to sleep. Oh, the pink cloud powder is officially out at beauty creations today i absolutely love the way that I okay so this is very loud let me turn that down just literally looks like i always love when trisha's nose hairs are visible as fuck okay. hey guys so the pink cloud powder is officially out at beauty creations okay so i saw something on the today. corner right oh i absolutely love the way that it just literally looks like a filter on my eyes 
So, so. It doesn't. You have fucking craters everywhere. It doesn't look like a fucking filter. It looks like the same goo. Like, come on, man. It's like when people try to sell alcohol. You're like, does it get, it get you drunk, right? I don't know the difference. Trish has cracked up the shit right here. Scars. Scars. And this doesn't look like any damn different than any other girl I've seen with sparkle eyes. I, is that where the makeup is? Oh, is it, maybe you should put some in your fucking nose and hide these danglers. That's a cave. I was so honored that they asked me to be like the model face of this product. I've never done a beauty campaign in my life. I'm 35 years old. So the fact that they're like... Hey, we want you for Pink Cloud. It just and this looks really shitty, too. It already looks like it's breaking up in the fucking container. This shit looks explosive, flammable. It seems so fitting, pink, obviously. But pink powder? Oh, my God. Look at the size of them hands. Now, Trisha's got, like, you know, stains in between her fingers. Not a good look. Probably smell like armpits. Like, we used it today, and it looks so good. Like, literally. You guys know I have, like, lines, wrinkles, everything. It's that... Uh, Julie says this isn't her Midwest accent. So nice. I'm obsessed with this stuff, so. Um, yeah, I'm on the package, not the packaging. I can't get over it. Yeah, of course. They don't have enough room. Imagine them, imagine them being like, yeah, we can't even get anything besides your fingernail on you, you big bitch. Look at that. Wow. Wowie, whoa. Good. I'm on, like, look at her thumb. Look at that fucking thumb, dude. It's just like this fat piece of skin. I'm obsessed with this stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm on the package. Not the package. Dude, and it's thick. Her thumb's looking like, you know, a sh like a strong arm, but it's just fat and plump. It's looking like this. Stay. Jane, but I'm on, like, the little, like, flyers they sent out for the PR. See that Polish shoulder hair? Uh, um, I think I'm up at the beauty creation store and I'm going to go check out. But yeah, this stuff is amazing for real. <laughs> like I said, I... Like I'm waiting for her to drop it. The way she's holding it is like she has no care in the world. Is it supposed to be powder or is it supposed to be solid? Literally, which is asked to be the model. It's like not my collaboration. I don't need to like promote on social media. That wasn't like part of the deal or anything like that. But I really, really do love it. And it just seemed like the perfect like fit. And I'm so honored. I, like I said, I don't think I've ever modeled for anything like this, like a part of it. Look at this, look at this right here, dude. This is now Trish has been known to have thousands of hair shoot out in the middle. I think she's too exhausted half the time from sleeping all day to like, you know, kind of manicure her damn eyebrows. So I think she puts the makeup around it, cuts the eyebrow, creates the eyebrow out of like the mascara. Like, is that what you call it? The mascara, the skin tone shit. She's hiding a unibrow right here. Look at these cracks. Cracks and crevices. This don't look like no filter. It's like a zombie filter. Campaign, so I feel super honored. If you're a pink girly like me, it kind of just like, it kind of gives you like that blush, like the heightened blush look too. Sets it nice. Bye filter. Uh, yeah, this is one of the filters you probably should never fucking use, okay? You're gonna scare everybody. Butt filter. Literally says it on the back. Bye filter. So, anyways, check out Beauty Creations. Hey, Cloud, Beauty Creations bottle. Okay, so it sounds like Malibu's stuck in a drawer or something. I heard a little sound. So cute. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to give you guys a 30 week. Oh my God. She's about to explode. Bump date. She's growing. She's coming. And I'm ready. <laughs> he was all. All right, so here it is again. She's using, they're using one of her songs. Trisha looks like a dinosaur. Always in my heart, though I stray far. Here you are, Jesus, my superstar. You know what? I love how they use this fucking song. They're going to ruin their brand with her chucky hands. I mean, look at these fucking plump hush. These are giant. Like, they're like, nobody's going to want to buy this. They're like, oh, God, dino. Why would I buy this? What is it, fucking sugar-coated? Why do you have the biggest bitch promoting it ever? You know, and like, what is this? What does this have to do with buy filter? Why would they even use this song? Does Trisha have a stake in this? I feel like Trisha has her fucking foot in half of the the uh, company. Okay? For them to be like, like, just relate this to I love you, Jesus, which is like, all these things are lies. This stuff doesn't work. It probably has adverse reaction. I can't wait until the hospital... You know, or just full up of people with scars, burns from this shit. They've used filters here. Don't get it twisted. This shit's all smooth with, you know, you can't even see 
one bit of like, you know, HD footage here. It's like her lips are forming into her fucking tongue. The filtration is so out there. I mean, it's like when we were watching that goddamn alien footage and he said he had no chin, so they decided to blur the chin out. And that's kind of like what's going on here. They use blur technology to hide the scars. This ain't what it looked like a second ago. Don't get it twisted. This is fucking animation zone right here. Oh, yeah. You give me jump scare out of hell right there you give me reason. Ah! imagine that imagine pulling that off the fucking shelf her head is right there oh glad you bought my crap you give me reason you give me hope jesus never let me go okay only a limited look how quick it cut from that you don't even know where to fucking buy it you give me how in 15 years on YouTube is this the first makeup ever campaign? Girl, nobody wants to be associated with you. All of a sudden, the song choice proves they didn't take her seriously at all. I mean, this stuff looks like candy. Oh, Jesus, never let me go. Buy filter, pink cloud, loose setting powder, which means it's going to fall right off and you'll look like you have no makeup on. Hey, guys. And then we cut to Trisha's fat gut. What's up? With this. Yeesh. I haven't done a single bump day on my second oh pregnancy. God. I thought 30 weeks. You know, some people will be like, those are fun buns. So here's more sexual content. Like Trisha's like, I don't do nothing like that anymore. Remember how she was like doing a, I don't know, a fucking podcast the other day. She's like, my jonks are never out. Well, what do we got going on now? Trisha's fucking maximum capacity fucking brawlet over here. And this disgusting line. What better? The line of doom. You don't ever want to be caught in the middle of Trisha's junks. It's very rough and spiky. Um, second pregnancy. Whew. Okay. I don't even know how long I can stand for this. I think everyone has noticed I've been significantly, significantly more out of breath. Which, you know, she's going to say that because she looked at a couple comments on there being like, guys, she's pregnant. She's at it. No, you've been out of breath for years. Oh, just... I mean, she looks at one menu item. She's over there fucking blood, fainting, flush. Literally just sitting. Sometimes it's just like hard to breathe. Everything is very high up very quickly, this pregnancy. So. Oh, my God. And then like every time she didn't she say that last time she's like, you know, Malibu actually pushed my heart out of my throat. Oh my the baby's high up. My organs are up to here. I'm just is that a true thing? Do your organs get pushed up? I'm just trying to breathe. You're pregnant? Like, what's the case, though, whenever she was having all them hogs, moths, this ice cream, and I don't know what the fuck she was having. She was having a lot of hogs and dogs, and all the Cadbury's you could ever... I mean, she was just eating everything, okay? Snack diva. And uh, she was out of breath then. So what are you saying? Like, the fucking food also pushed your shit up? She's been talking about that organ displacement for a long time. Her organs have moved back inside her body. I am about the size I was. Cody said this room probably reeks of body odor. It's selling. It's probably smell like a fucking urinal in here. The carpet's starting to turn piss yellow from the, the leak. Nine months pregnant with. Spread the word. My first, so I definitely gained weight. Um, I don't know if that just means like stuff has more in here. I don't feel like my appetite is all that different than my first pregnancy. Get over this thing right here. In fact, I do feel full a lot, but I just, uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm about the same size. Which Trisha's saying she's the same size. Not, nah, I mean, I don't know. You're fucking fat regardless. I mean, you're going to, this will be shooting out. This is a cheeseburger vault. Now, she might be pregnant with a donut. I don't think there's even anything in there. Allegedly. You know, that's just me being a slime ball. But if she wasn't pregnant, she'd still have this fucking ginormo locker full of cheese. Yeah, I'm about the same size as I was nine months and. 
Uh, you know, imagine Moses coming in here. He's like, oh, God. He probably calling the photographer. I feel like at this point, he lets the photographer come over. I gave birth. It's like, I don't want to deal with it. So I'm just a little scared for how much. Uh, Gigi says she just said that her waist size was at 40 weeks last time. And she has 10 weeks to go from here. 223. Yeah, right. She's got to be about 578 pounds. I'm just going to go. Um, I have not been exercising this pregnancy. Like 223. I would love to see it because if it is on a TikTok of her step breaking a scale, she's got them handicapped bars in the fucking bathroom. She's up there, leant up on them. And whenever she does a weigh in, it's only her feet. Never trust a video that's just the feet. Like, why would anybody ever, like, when Amberlynn Reed gets up on a scale, it's the only person I can believe because it's up in the seventh, it's up in the 600 range of weight. She could be lying, too. We tried at the beginning, or I did at the beginning. You know, and how quick after the baby comes out? I'm telling you, she's going to be vlogging in that fucking hospital again. I hope they outlaw that. And once the new year... Like, it shouldn't be legal to vlog inside your hospital room. Pet, like, it was Not cold. We all got sick. And now, like I said, I'm lucky to get up my stairs. Um, but all my tests are good. So that's good. That's the main thing, right? Your, your blood pressure, your glucose testing, all that stuff. Like, I passed with flying colors. A, such a blessing. Such a, such a blessing. Um, so... Yeah, we are planning on doing another C-section. We actually have a scheduled C Another C-section? Does she have one before? C-section for this one, um, which sounds really relaxing, <laughs> which I know some C-section almost are like, it's anything but John says, you think she has her C-section on her birth, scheduled on her birthday? I bet. Relaxing, and I totally, like, agree. Like, I can see Trisha planning it like that. They're like, uh, now when's her birthday? Surgery is still really a big deal, but as someone who never did vaginal birth, I pushed, I pushed for about three, three hours. So stressful, might have oxygen mask. Maybe. Like I can see Trisha freaking out. I, I feel like Trisha was just like immediately was like, cut me open. I don't even care. My daughter's heartbeat was dropping my heartbeat. Everything was like very scary. Get it out! Just a lot. Um, I wouldn't even say painful because once I had that epidural. Like the thing is Trisha's been fucking gaped from high, to high heavens, dude. I'm surprised it, it was a struggle. Otherwise, I will, you know, go to labor if it goes in early or my water breaks, which happened the first time my water did break four days early. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. The contractions. I see. Oh, the contractions. Not to scare anybody, but my contractions were in. Yeah, okay. I fucking disgusting. I'm talking shitting everywhere. I feel like Trisha was contracting. You know, the contractions were a little bit more than what we thought. Okay, so this is so fucking... I can't watch this. This is fucking bullshit. I mean, she's in here with this hand over the stomach. We got to go to the TikToks. Are we going to the TikToks? Rumbling, tumbling. Excited. I feel it all. Melbourne did a lot of ASMR and a lot of meditation. When I said I did three hours... Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm missing out on some shit. Um, I... <laughs> the belly situation. Cause I'm kind of sitting and signing up. I'm going to like lean back at some point. But there's the bump, y'all. Yeah, we know. We've seen it the entire time. Look at her, how psychotic she looks at the camera. She's been looking at her fucking gut. You know, I, I don't know. I just find it crazy that she's just sitting here with the fucking shirt off all the time. Like, do you, you could, you know what you could do? You could have a shirt on, roll it up to here, show the bump if you have to. The, this thing probably smells terrible. There's fungus in there, dog. There's fungus. Okay, and, uh, you know, you don't have to have your jonks out. You don't have to be showing the guys the saggers. Okay, sag awards over here. You're currently pregnant. Good luck on you. Yeah, I'm sure she's got currently got some track marks. What's this all about? Okay, not a good look. On your journey, if you're trying to become pregnant, sending you so much baby dust, it is it's possible. I've read so many and seen so many remarkable stories of people who... Had a baby, you know, eight years. After eight years of trying, people... I have to hop around the desk real quick. Sorry to torture you. Adopted three boys and then 10 years later had a baby of their own. Like, there's so many miraculous stories, so many ways to have a child. Sending you so much love and baby dust. And, yeah. Baby, oh, my husband's is coming soon. I just don't know how much bigger this is going to get. So, we're documenting this baby bump right now. Let's just 
she's like right there. Bye guys. The fucking water shooting out of my mouth because I was rushing back. I saw the video, it ended. Everywhere. Water everywhere. All right, so let's get to the TikTok. Oh, Nate, you missed the good old days with the monthly bump dates with her in a bikini. Now, we have tried to go back in time and watch her crap. It's disgusting. I mean, look at her right here. This is Jason Nash and Trisha Paytas addressing the delivery. Well. Well. I don't want to watch it. All right, let's get into her TikTok. What's she got going on today? Now, there's been a lot. There's a lot to catch up with. We never watched the fucking... Uh, we never watched the... Uh, the fucking video, the one with uh, Lance Krudrick. What's his name? What's that guy's fucking name? The what's this? Donny Osmond. We never watched the Donny Osmond. I just now remembered. I have to see like a little bit of what it was about. So here's the entire experience. Okay, did we even watch any of this? Oh yeah, I think we did watch some of it. So here he is, Donny Osmond. Which, by the way. You know, like, where's Trisha standing? Is she already at the fucking, like, climbing up one of these things? I'd like to see. Now, is this Trisha filming this? I mean, did, we did actually watch some of this. It was a geezer fest. There was, like, old ass grannies everywhere. God damn. Filling up this place. This is for his Joseph. He's playing Joseph in this. He's got this whole coat. It's clear upon the steps. Oh, my God. Look at his bump down here. What do you call this? And do you think, I feel like he's got a lot, he's got about, he has to have a diaper on at this point. He's so goddamn old. There's nothing left of him anymore. Like, he's really hurting on the inside with these old wretch teeth. Donny Osmond's got a goddamn bombshell of a wife, I guess, okay? And uh, Trisha Paytas has, you know, been salty ever since. She's been trying to get into his damn, you know, bedroom or get inside his bridges for a long time. I feel like she he she jacked him off or something, dude. I feel like there's some type of like Trisha Paytas is really into like old Star Trek looking guys. Like right now he's looking real William Shatner. And uh, you know, it's it's this has gotta be some daddy syndrome stuff. Because if you've ever seen her father, her father looks like, you know, the same guy. He's got the same look. Okay? Bullshit. Afro horse. This guy's got that fucking afro. I hate it. You know it's fake. It peels off like a fucking band-aid. He's got one hair under there. He heard that coat of many colors, and that's why Marie got a contract, and that's why she recorded the paper roses. So it was just... Fabulous. Now, you know Trisha's over there at the edge of her seat. Crap, it's making noises. <laughs> It was a story of Joseph that gave Marie her recording. Like, I could see her popcorn, like, shooting it out of her mouth every time he makes what we call a joke. Shortly after that. Like, the thing is, he could get up here and say anything. He could pull his fucking pants down and shit all over the stage. Everybody would be in there clapping up a Dixie. I think it was around the mid-80s. My brother Jimmy, who we all love and adore... He was playing a role of Joseph in this play with a long... Oh my god, so is this an actual play or is this the story of the play? <laughs> what is this shit? I can't get over this. This uh, Now, is, is I, I was asking if he's gay. I thought he had some sugar in his tank. I feel like he definitely had his teeth out for Moses a couple times, okay? Whenever Moses wasn't looking, he took him out. He was licking his gums, looking like this. This is scary. This is alien shit. <laughs> Alright, no teeth allowed. Now there's got to be nothing but dust in that triangle. Look at his perfectly old pruned up lips. Let's see if you look at a real guy. Longest name in history, Joseph and the... I don't know what he's yammering about. His hair plucks, or plucks, his hair plugs to the heavens. They are shooting up, slicked back. I wish I could be on some type of like Mission Impossible mission. 
come down on the fucking rope, swipe it off, run. Amazing Technicolor dream coat, and it didn't I gotta go! Correctly. Okay, it sounds like Trisha's behind that camera, okay? It sounds like she just, like, you know, almost shot out her mac and cheese. Now, I feel like Trisha brings a microwave and puts it under the seat at these events. Causes a problem with the extension cord, if you know what I mean. FBI, open okay, up! everybody's pissed, dude. Trisha don't go nowhere without her hot plate, a lot of caramel corn. Technicolor Dream Coat uh. didn't spell color correctly. <laughs> and the amazing Technicolor Dream Coat didn't spell color correctly. <laughs> Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dream Coat didn't spell color correctly. You know, and he's over here looking at the crowd. He looks like he wants to kill himself, okay? He's like, if they, you know, there could be a blade up in here. Arsenic pill, anything. Look how sad he looks. And he looks like he has his head already cut off. He's going to fall right off. This is the eyes of sadness. That he's still doing this shit. Now, maybe he's his nips are so long from, like, the years of doing this that it actually is a good time. But I can't imagine, like, every day doing one of these Vegas hoot nannies. Where he's like, you know, your odd, your fans become your worst enemy. You're looking at people that are like fucking your same age. You're like, Jesus Christ, what have I done? FBI, I'm gonna up. fucking do it. I'm gonna do it. He jumps off the one foot stage and nothing happens. Sorry for the bricks. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh, what's sorry for the teeth? bricks. <laughs> so sorry, sorry. God, look at them teeth, man. <laughs> Yeah, you had you had the language first, so they they got it right. Why do you got your phone in your hand? What are you doing with your phone? So anyway, I went over to, to the Poconos. Uh, I got the Poconos. Northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, really? Yeah. Mm. You know where the Poconos are? Yep. There's a little theater there that he was playing this in, and it was just the, the audience is probably 50 people. Poconos. It's such a small little theater, and I went there to support it. And it was the he just dodged my bullet. Okay, I'll be over there. Such a small little theater, and I went there to support it. And lucky, he got lucky. And it was the cutest show in the world. Okay. Now, I'm so, I hope I don't bore you. And JT says the closest seats for the show were hundred and fifty dollars. That's some fucking bullshit. How much money is this guy raking in? He's taken, he's like, he's almost like that fucking freak, that guru guy. What's the guy's name that was in Shallow Hal? Like he's, he's the same as a Peter Popa, Popich selling miracle water from the, the waterfall of Jesus's mouth or whatever the fuck it was. I mean, crap. You know, he's selling a dream to these geezers. I mean, you're, you know, how many, how many grampies came up in here? They're prop. Wasted down to the casino doing something they shouldn't. This is a wives' fest. It's like those people that like follow Josh Groban. They're like, oh, nobody's better than Grobe. The fucking bullshit, bro. I went to a fan, I went to a Goodwill. No, I went to an Ollie's bargain outlet one time. Hundreds of Josh Groban shirts. I'm like, I was shocked why they had so many, just a whole rack of Josh Groban shirts. The fuck is Groban? I went home. He's an opera guy. Sinatra piece of shit. Tony Robbins. That's who it is. And like Tony Robbins has the body of like a, a, a full on gorilla. Okay. His hands are huge. His arms covered stricken with this. I'm talking tufts of hair. Religious hair. I don't even know if he's religious. He reminds me of, now, Tony Robbins reminds me of Tiny from, I don't know if you guys have ever seen House of a Thousand Corpses or Devil's Rejects. Now, Mike Redbar had said that Tiny was, um, he looked like Mac from Logan Paul lore. Mac, and Mac actually is in Ohio. Um, somebody told me that he's uh, he's got a bed and breakfast, so I might have to go check out, you know, Mac from Logan Paul's Impulsive. 
one of Logan Paul's friends, I could probably get Logan's number if I wanted it. Anywho, Tiny from, I can't remember the guy's name, Tiny. I guess it's just Devil's Rejects. That'd be easy. I don't know the guy's name. He was a freak. And he was also in Big Fish. Is there an uh, Matthew Gregory? What a fucking shocker, dude. Imagine this guy. This is what I think. When I think about Tony Robbins, I think about Matthew Gregus. Look at him, dude. Imagine this guy coming in your window at night. Or you think you're, there's a tree outside? No, it's Matthew Gregory with his long, haunted hands. Coming to get you. I got to get a better picture of Matthew Gregory. Now, he was probably what we would call a gentle giant. I would brush your hair if you needed it brushed. But in House of a Thousand Corpses, he was like Freddy Krueger. I mean, come on, man. Okay, let's get one more good picture of Matthew Gregory before we get the fuck out of there, and then we'll go back to the extravaganza. Look at Matthew Gregus. Holy shit. That's a dork. Okay, sad. All right, let's get back to this. Set the stage for this. That's, this is my memory of the musical Joseph. It's Marie's little song, Jenny's little play. It's now 1991. The end of 1990, Soldier of Love was a big hit. Sacred Emotion was a big hit for me. Okay, now imagine, I think there's like, they're loaded with air, but air tanks up in here. There's probably like those oxygen, the older people, they have them tanks, NOS as I would call them, Fast and the Furious juice, gas, whole place up in here is so flammable. You know, one light of a match, Trisha back there smoking a Belize, he's getting fucking set for this shit. Look at him, he's got one thing, two fingers on the mic like he's a fucking soul sister. So I kick the piano player off and I sing a couple of Sacred Emotion was one of them. And I just, I finish these two songs, no applause at all. These pieces of people are just jaded. Oh, oh, we gotta, we, fuck this. We gotta get to the cause. We have to get to the best part. This is so fucking stupid. Drew back to <laughs> to see Okay, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm freaking out. Maybe he's dying right now. His chest pill isn't working. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. I think he is. I think he's putting people to sleep. His notes, post-it notes. He's had too much. Let's get to the part when Trisha gets up on the stage and almost breaks right through it. They deserve this, don't they? Congratulations. Winner of best costume. Donnie's Joseph sing-along. Now, where is the fucking costume contest out? Did I miss a costume contest, or was it, like, held before? Like, you know, in the back rooms. Underground LA, or Las Vegas. Okay. So, we know who the winner is. This guy's trying to get some grandmother's number, her jitterbug number. It's just, it's just one number. It's, like, number nine. <laughs> I mean, for somebody to have an idea to wear a camel, they deserve this, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, dude. It probably smells like fucking dust up in here. I mean, dude, this is fucking... <laughs> now, here comes Moses looking like Zorg, okay? Looking like Power Ranger. Look at the bag of Moses. <laughs> I'm surprised Trisha didn't make him fly in on like a string from Disney World. Crash into the stage. And Moses, Moses, come on up here too. <laughs> Look, and Trisha didn't want Moses up here. Moses wasn't allowed. <laughs> Moses wasn't allowed. This fucking rules. This is awesome. So, Trisha was the only one up here. The only one that wanted to, like, you know, fucking get one more touch of these old, wrinkled hands. She is seven months pregnant. And she is so sweet. Okay, and, like, I think he's had... We, like we've said, Trisha has been here in his life too much. He's had enough of Trisha Paytas. 
He's grown tired of the bullshit. He's like, you're at every goddamn thing. Give me a break. Try to fucking get me out. He's. I feel like Trisha shows up with a hacksaw and rope. And, and he's always like shaking, dude. I think he's very nervous. This is why he allowed this to happen because he's around 100 people. Trisha could pull out that snub nose. Okay, and do the worst thing you know, ever. You probably know her on social media. Trisha, where are you, Trisha? Okay. And Moses, Moses, come on up here too. Yeah, okay, you're allowed. He wants her. He wants him up there to keep Trisha back. Trisha's the one of these people that's like, give me a hug, and then she's pulling his pants down in front of everybody. Exposing his umbilical cord. He probably still has an umbilical cord. Spread the word. Uh, Moon Maid says, definitely some daddy issue obsession she has. Oh my god, look at this shit. So was she just standing there the whole time? Where the fuck did Trisha come from? Oh, Moses wasn't even sitting with her. <laughs> look, Trisha looks like an Ewok walking up. Looking like some Star Wars monster. You know? <laughs> Okay, Moses, look at him, dude. This is the worst thing. He's, you know, Moses had to wear like the mon the what was that thing like the creature from the Black Lagoon outfit for the music video. But like, when is Moses gonna be like? I mean, dude, this is this is unreal. Like, is this like an Egyptian Elvis? What is this fucking crap? If I go around, I want like, I don't know if this was even dress code to the musical. I thought this was like a religious thing. Trisha comes out with Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Spread the word. Fat. Tra. Sparkles to trick us from her weight. <laughs> Moses looking just like a fucking straight bitch, dude. Look at him with them red. He's nervous red skin. Looking like a piglet. Slender arms. Terrible. Um, you know, this is the hair of Epstein. Epstein's hair. Not a good look. <laughs> and she's, yeah, she's never run that fast. You know, she's like fucking, you know, you would have thought there was a meal down. Okay. You would have thought like Starbucks and chicken tenders or something bullshit. Okay. Mozzarella sticks were calling, you know, actually came to life screaming her name to eat them. Okay, now that would have been amazing. And like for Moses, okay, I don't want Tr Trisha's got the kid in her stomach, but because she has and then, and then Moses grabbing her wrist, bitch, okay, because she's he's already knows what's gonna happen. Trisha's pissed because she wants to go up there and grab um Don Schneider. What's this guy's name? Darney Arsmond, Oswald, Oswald's world up here. She wants to fucking straight grab him by the neck. Like, in a, a sign of love. The story. So Moses knows what's up. Look at Trisha's fucking damn girl looking like Stavros Halitosis. Look at this old head right here. Joe Biden. Look at this. There's some AI or a filtration right here. He must have had Trisha's makeup. You can't see a rink in sight. She has to tell you. About Holy God damn. And Moses, look at him. Like he's holding mom's arm. About her pregnancy that you've got to oh. hear. <laughs> so, uh, and you know all these re these old geezers are up in here like, fuck, they hate her. Because it's all the same people. I think everybody that goes to this fucking shit show are the same crowd. Giving away all their riches. Giving away all their, selling all their pills they get just to afford this extravaganza. Okay, this is a weekend in paradise to them. They get to see their one and only... Donnie Arswald. Uh, okay, like, look at him, dude. Like, he's already like, Moses, get up. Moses is nervous. He's got the nervous fingers. He's like playing the accordion over here, breaking his fingers because he doesn't know if he should touch Trish or not. She might swing back on him, cut his head off. I've been since I was literally 12. We met. Yeah, Trisha's got the beer gut. She's got the cheeseburger vault. When we were 12 years old. You, you, you know, I thought he had one of them fake watches that shocks you. I don't know what that is right there. Could be anything. It's something. Probably like a note Trisha gave him. It's just got her poopy on it. Just as good. Um, and then we got, I got so lucky I got to interview 
for my podcast in September, which was like wild and crazy. It was like it wasn't. Nobody listened. Trisha's tell him the numbers on it. This motherfucker thinks he's hit the big leagues. He thinks Trisha's some type of like celebrity. Look at the look at the Just Trish podcast. He is the worst viewed episode. Spread the word. Not a good look. You go to Just Trish. Go to that. Get this fucking crap off my screen. Go to this podcast, man. You look at these damn numbers. You go to the, not the oldest, not even popular. So scroll down. It's not too far away. There's not that many fucking episodes. Here he is right here, 181K. You know, and you look at all these on here. I mean, I think even the Holly Madison one has more numbers than, uh, you know, the Donny Oswald. Because they're like, who is this old ass guy? They probably think he's like from like fucking, you know, out of a book. History book. Come to life. This one, even this lady, Camelita Fox, has more than him. 206. Yeah, he was the worst one on here. She needs to tell him. Somebody's got to tell him. Trisha made you look stupid. She she bought views for everything else but you. You're the only real number on here. The biggest, the biggest dream ever. And when we were there, we were talking, because you were so nice, we talked like literally a couple hours before your show. And um, Yeah, he's like, I know, okay? He knows. He's still exhausted from it. Good thing he's got old people in fetamines. Like, like pilot pills. You know, like the old methamphetamine. They weren't just amphetamine pills. He has pilot go-go pills that jet fighters bite into when they're getting sleepy, going Mach 10. Baby, but it's really hard. Donnie goes, I think you're going to have another one really soon. Two weeks later, we found out we were pregnant. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna name it Elvis. Now he thought that he was like, you know, thank God. He was actually like a fucking goddamn like uh you know, a weight was taken off his back. He's like because he if he if she would have called him Donnie, that would have been more reason for her to like, you know, for years to come keep showing up. She's like, I brought Donnie, your kid. What if it's his kid? <laughs> Yeah, Donnie's definitely wondering if the check is... That's why he's so fucking red in the face, because it probably didn't clear. There's an issue he has to resolve after the show. All right? He's like, what the fuck? You know, he's probably got mob ties. He's like, bitch, I'm ganged up. I know everybody. I'll bring... I'll dig up Capone's skeleton, and, okay? Play it like a fucking marionette around you. Scare you to death with a gun. You know, in a game. Okay? Because her check probably isn't clearing. She probably like fucking, it's probably not even real. It's probably like fucking written in Crayola. <laughs> you know, maybe the building will be Donnie or something like that. The first name's Elvis, so maybe people do like Elvis Donnie. <laughs> You're going to name it Elvis? Yeah, it's a girl. <laughs> uh, Diddy's ma- JT says, Diddy, Diddy's main private plane is in Antigua. I don't know where the hell it is. No confirmation if he's on it. That motherfucker's gone. What if they shoot the plane down? <laughs> Maybe he has an A. Maybe he knows some secrets. He's trying to spill the beans on Epstein Island. Well, I'll tell. Maybe he'll link up with Snowden. There'll be two guys in Russia. All right, bye. What happened? Did Trisha open her legs? He's like, whoa. He almost fell off the stage. Well, then I'll take credit for it. Yeah. No, I didn't say no. Yeah, so Diddy's going to be like Woody Allen, right? Doesn't Woody Allen hide in a different country? <laughs> but, but the way she first told me, you said it a little differently. Because uh, when we were d- during the interview, she says... Okay, we're going to go to the TikToks. We have to do the TikToks. God damn it, that was scary. I was like, what do I have pulled up? <laughs> All right, Trisha's here. Here's her fucking fresh new stuff. 
We last left off somewhere. I mean, we haven't even gotten to Hershey Park. She went to Hershey Island, her worst enemy. So we did watch this. Here's Malibu. If you are looking for kid friendly, scared out of her mind over water. Stuff to do in Vegas, I highly recommend the Shark Reef Aquarium at the Mandalay Bay. Malibu was an absolute awe of it. Look, Malibu's hitting. Malibu shot away from her. She dodged her. She absolutely loved the shark tunnel. She never wanted to leave it. She kept going. Look how close her mom is to her. Mom's afraid she's going to drop Malibu. I can see Trisha's letting go. She sees something in the water that looks like a fucking, or like a snack. She absolutely loved the shark tunnel. She never wanted to leave it. She kept going back. This was the entrance. And you know, they should put Trisha in the hippopotamus booth. Even these little fishes, she was so mesmerized by. I think daddy was also mesmerized by the big fish. Yeah, I'm sure Moses can't, you know, Moses has like a fucking tele psychedelic fucking experience when he sees a cup of water, let alone the ocean side. <laughs> She he don't want to leave. Watches the fish swim. She was saying hi to all of them. She watches a lot of baby sharks, so she was definitely not scared of them. Yeah, which I'm she sure. Which, which is like you know Trisha's way of saying she was terrified, didn't know what to do. She's pushing her closer to the tank. It was a really cute place. Lots of kids. There was like a field trip going on there. And again, it's something that's relatively inexpensive that you can spend literally hours doing. It's not that long. Yeah, she doesn't look like she's having a good time. She looks like she's scared out of her mind. Like when I went to the first magic show as a kid, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. This is bullshit. Beautiful mama. Thanks for coming to Vegas with us. Okay, so that was like one little snippet of Vegas. There's a lot more to get. We were looking for kid-friendly stuff to do in Vegas and her. Okay, so is this allowed Located to be Located at the New York, New York Hotel and Casino, I was... Okay, so this is the New York, New York. Now, Trisha went to Hershey Isles, okay? Everything she thinks is made of peanut butter and chocolate. You know, the best stuff to eat. Trisha always, like, you know, watches her figure when she goes to these type of places. As you can see, these are all, you know, very healthy stuff. Now, I wonder if we're going to see her, like, you know, have, like, a like I'm talking a wheelbarrow of treats. Oh, you can put your mouth under this, Trish. This is like a buzzkill to her, too. She usually comes here and just, like, fucking, you know, sleeps there all night. She stays at night in the chocolate factory. Okay. That ain't enough. That wasn't enough chocolate. This is, that's a tease. I hate when she does these videos where it's not reality. Here she is with nice. Moe. Okay. Oh, look at him. He's got his Target shirt on. So, you know, what? I saw this on, uh, I saw this on Amazon. Let me go to Amazon real quick. We can see how cheap, cheap champion stole that. Mike David. Like a thief. Um, Amazon has, uh, all the, uh, clothes that M Moses wears besides the All Saints bullshit. Let's look at Tiger button up. And I'm pretty sure it should be up on here. I seen it. Here it is right here. Vat Pave. Just look around. I'm sure my fucking address isn't showing. You know, I've been known to dox myself. Here it is right here. The shirt. All right? Oh yeah. Twenty seven dollars. Fucking crap. And, uh, you know, does it come in Trisha's size, too? Because I'm sure she bought herself one. I don't think she's, like, she probably tricks us. She's like, I can wear it. Nah, dog. And her co her dress is probably on there, too. It looks thin and weak and cheap. Said anything about the Quiet On Set documentary because I feel like there's nothing I can really add. Okay, so Trisha's going to hop in the bandwagon, Okay quiet on set okay so i haven't said anything about the quiet on set documentary because i feel like there's nothing i can really add to what's already being put out there other than it's absolutely disgusting it's so devastating i always wanted to be a child star i remember i auditioned yeah okay so like trisha's already you know thrown a couple hints that she's gonna force malibu into tap dance clogging classes or tap dancing classes like i wouldn't be shocked if like Malibu, she's already been like, didn't she force her to do some like baby modeling or some fucking weird shit? Didn't she like try to get her in like some like baby commercial or something? You know, she's starting young. Trisha's definitely has it up her fucking sleeve. She's fielding it right now. She wants people in the comments to be like, don't worry, Trisha, the bad guy's going away. Dave Schneider will never ever schneid again. Okay, you're good to go. You can put your kid in every fucking thing you want. And collect a check. Because Trisha knows her days are numbered.
she knows eventually her feet are going to have to be sawed off. Mr. Gray. Okay. Oh, sorry. So she's going to need, like, you know, somebody to, like, pick up around the house, pick up the slack, bring in a check. Remember I auditioned for all that. It was at, like, Irvine. Okay, so I haven't said anything about the Quiet On Set documentary because I feel like there's nothing I can Yeah, they're booger nails, haunted nails. Trisha doesn't know anything about, I guess, anything, okay? When it comes to nails, she's like, yeah, this will work for none of my clothes. can really add to what's already being put out there other than it's absolutely disgusting. It's so devastating. I always wanted to be a child star. I remember I auditioned for all that. It was at, like, Irvine. Okay, so here we go. Trisha's going to pretend... Night. Okay, so I haven't... Trisha's gonna pretend that she she knew uh, she's seen Di Dan Schneider walk by a room. For all that, like right now, she's like, I don't have anything to offer up right now, but I was in the audition room with Ke Keegan uh, Thompson. It was at like Keegan Thompson, Irvine. It was like I think I went to the, all that summer music festival, and I think they had auditions for all that. And obviously, I like, didn't get picked, and I didn't get far or anything. Like I doubt it. I really highly doubt that, it. But I remember because I thought she was in Ohio. When the fuck did Trish come to and all that? What the fuck is she talking about? Was she always in L.A.? Wouldn't all that be like, like some like Nickelodeon lot in like Hollywood? I wanted that. Like I thought she grew up in fucking Ohio or some shit so bad and even for my daughter she gets a lot of offers for like cute little kid campaigns and commercials and we haven't said yes which is like so crazy uh genesis when she did the audition for all that she was in illinois to me five years ago because i was like, i'm gonna make sure my daughter gets the opportunities because like i wanted because trisha wants to be heard like right now anybody's listening this is fucking bullshit i can't by that like a story she can't even speak on besides like having like all you really need to say is it's fucking weird and drake bells also has allegations okay this kid's over here you know whatever happened to him happened but i don't want people to forget he's got sexual assault charges right he was like fucking sexting a minor to be on like that shit's clouding the water so you gotta remember He's not Scott Free. TV for as long as. Okay, if you know Scott Free. I remember, like, I always wanted to be, like, on the screen. And you think, like, okay, Hollywood, right before all this, you think a lot bit. of offers for, like, cute little kid campaigns and commercials. And we haven't said yes, which is, like. Which I don't think there's been fucking offers. Trisha's got, you know, every person in her inbox that she's messaging. I mean, she's been bitching about fucking uh sponsorships for a long time pissy about it why she ain't getting one why is other people getting them you're telling me that she she's trying to tell us right now she's like oh, you wouldn't believe it yeah right i think she's sending out i wish like some of these pump companies could like grow a pair of balls and be a little bit petty and be like no 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 you got it wrong bitch you've been hitting him up him up him up they're gonna send out they're gonna leak the messages trisha exposed 2024 style and it's like her messages sending fucking every one of these agencies. I got a kid. Guess what? Trish has got a kid. If y'all need anybody, I'm around the bend. I'll be over there in a minute. I'm always in my fucking car. Baby seat's not, you know, fully set up right. It's in the wrong direction. Malibu shouldn't be facing, you know, she should be facing backwards, right? So crazy. What's up, playing? Crazy to me five years ago because I was like, I'm going to make sure my daughter. Cody says it's funny how anytime something comes up in the news, she's involved. She's always got her fucking fingers in some type of trend, right? She has, she can relate with everything. Daughter gets the I wish the news was about running. She'd never have nothing to say except for being like, yeah, I can't. Opportunities because like I wanted to be. On yeah. Of Lava says, didn't she say she was already in a commercial? So like, you know, you can't sit there and be like, oh, people are at the, they're at the beckoning. People are just knocking on the door every day trying to get my kid to be in something, which is fucking weird. I wouldn't even bring that up because she's already said that. I'm pretty sure she was already, she put her kid in something already. So none of this even, this is all, you can't even say any of this. This is bullshit. You already put your child in Hollywood or in a commercial on film besides, you know, throwing her online with all your fucking other videos, on TV. which is like the same thing. 
I mean, what the fuck? You're having the same weirdos. The people with Nickelodeon, you know, were actually, they were, you know, they're, they've been outed. There's names, there's people, there's people that went to jail over it. But imagine the people that watch her kid on her fucking YouTube are probably even worse. How many sex offenders are watching her YouTube channel with the kid? I can see a nigga brain, Cartier bracelet, imagine with the chain. For as long as I remember, like, I always wanted to be, like... So, like, she's kind of doing the same fucking thing. She's putting her kid out there. It is, like, little shitty movies. On the screen. And you think, like, okay, Hollywood, right before all this, you think Hollywood, it's professional, and there's professionals on set. Um, I did an interview with Corey Feldman on a solo podcast I had called The Dish with Trish back in 2019, and it's eerily similar to the stories that are coming out now, very similar to Drake Bell's story, and it's alarming, concerning, why hasn't this been brought up before? Like, it's... I get it, like... Okay, so she doesn't get shit. It's probably been brought up a million fucking times, okay? It just took, like, one viral thing to happen. Alarming. Isn't like how all this fucking shit works? I'm sure people have been saying things for years and not heard. Luckily, there's TikTok. You know, it hits the right algorithm. All it takes is a viral video for questions and people start pressing for answers. Concerning. Okay, whatever. I mean, I can't. I hate watching this shit. I cannot stand watching her whenever she's on in these. Oh, look I, at just this. Want, I just want to see her look stupid. <gasps> Gross. Okay, so that's copyrighted. What's this right here? Thirty weeks. Oh god damn. Getting there. Getting closer. What does it say? R.I.P. Kate. Time is ticking. This baby is about. To what did Kate die? So sorry for Kate. What the fuck is she talking oh. about? Is Kate Middleton dead? Baby Elvis, we're all waiting to meet you. <laughs> so excited. We love a little pregnancy hair growth. No, we don't. That's not even growth. That's fucking attachments, dude. Your shit looks like it's fucking straw city. <laughs> nice and full. <laughs> Bub Love says they didn't even brush her hair or style it. Come on now. They didn't even want to touch it. It's probably alive. It probably works like vines. You put your sh anything around it, her hair strands wrap around it. Appreciate it. Well, well we can. Yeah. 30 weeks a day. Feeling good. I love these skim stresses. They're so yeah, gross. Disgusting. I mean, she's blowing up. She's actually exploding out of it. Okay, you guys. We are on. Okay, so here's some more mother growth hair. Trisha, you're looking fucking terrible, bro. <laughs> oh my god. On the way back from Vegas, I always stopped in this place called Terribles. I'm going to do a quick Terribles haul. My yeah, okay, that's perfect. I mean, you put the fucking bag over your head. No difference. Trisha's bump is in full frontal right now. We see this thing, the button. It ain't going nowhere. Trisha looks fucking geeked, bro. She looks like she's on some Zanny balls. The way back from it. Her eyes are pinned out from the I perks. Guess. Her mom's back here. Forgot her fucking teeth. I don't know. In the bathroom again. Look at that old Gretch. That's a wicked witch back there, bro. I always stopped in this place called Terribles. I'm going to do a quick Terribles haul. My mom's in the back and so is Malibu. Uh, look Malibu's looking at ghosts. Malibu sees something spooky. Um, so... <laughs> All right, here's what I got at Terribles. I got these mega M&Ms. I don't know how mega they are. Good. I got all pink. They're not big enough. I mean, I know Trisha's big, fat-ass fucking hands, you know, make everything look small, but I don't know they ain't big enough. How mega they are. I got all pink Starburst, and I got the, like, favorite Starburst. I'm sure this has the red 40 edge. I get it. Um, okay, and then I got this. Welcome to Las Vegas. Oh, okay, there's a little bag you can put your, you know, wrappers Ooh, in there. Cups. Does she have a cup in there? Oh, that's what Malibu picked out. She, picked she didn't pick this out. You grabbed it and you said, this is what you get. And you'll never see it. It's going to go in mommy's storage unit for her other mom to sell. Got her Vegas cups. I got so her mom's looking wasted right now. She probably had some like chocolate vodka or something. God I damn it. Know. Motherfucking. What are you? What is this? Okay, like you guys. Fucking, like some type of like a fucking spooky mom. Like a grim reaper. Do you want your cup? Here's your other cup. Okay, there's the two cups. I got this Area 51. This one's not working, the gas station. Okay. Oh, the wind is even oh my god, look at this cheap crap. Oh, we got Area 51 Alien. Moses got his, the guy was very, oh, he said this was a cookie. Oh, 
Oh, is it, are there cookies now? No, they're not. Kinder chocolate, that's right. Oh, God. Moses is like, shut the fuck. You know, Moses, what What have you been up to, bro? You look like a hip hop star. Moses? Okay, mom got her moon pie. What else did you get? And I'm sure they stocked, stocked up on cannabis. There's probably a trunk full of buds back there. When Trisha goes on a trip, I mean, she be spending so much money on gift shop, cr all this stuff. Does this even fit fucking Malibu? Welcome to Las Vegas. What else, Mommy? Anything else up there? I'm a little copy score so they can't. Oh. A blizzard with the. You're, you're what? Oh, blizzard. What is that? Chewing the back? School. That's old people. I mean, that's the stuff that you get down at, you know, the last aisle in the store. Nobody wants that shit. What am I seeing on my camera? Is there a ghost? What the fuck is it picking up? There's nothing on the camera. Is there a cat? That's yes, got the Las Vegas princess mm -hmm. for all this manifesting. This is the best Vegas trip ever. There's more TikToks to come. So what the fuck did she say? She said her baby manifested. Oh, this is for the baby. Look how drunk Trisha is. I forgot she has a baby. Look at her. Look how fucking wasted she is. She's fucking gizzaked. Yeesh. This is the best Vegas trip ever. There's more TikToks to come. Um, and then I got a bunch of more to start. Love it. This is really Beverly Hills Billy's, isn't it? I'm sure there's like a fucking trunk load of more crap. Trisha goes in there like it's some type of fucking end of the world incident where she's like, I got to get everything. It's trashy when you get like you shouldn't stock up at fucking gift you shop, guys. bro. God damn it! Did it okay, again? Sorry, we will we will get through this. You you what? Oh, um, and then I got a bunch of more star starbursts. So okay. I also got this. I'm talking like a whole bag. Look at Trisha's junk right here, looking like a fucking nasty ass object. Bumped up to shit. Reese's sweatshirt from Vegas. I got these Reese's pants from Vegas. God damn! She's the size of a wrap this around Reese's a building. From Vegas. I got these damn. Reese's pants from Vegas. That's a lot of pants. Anyways, I found. And when you go to the Reese's factory, trust me, they everything there is XL and beyond. The best frozen lemonade ever. I went to Chick Fil A. Their frosted lemonade not good. I love Chick Fil A, but like their frosted lemonade was not it. This is frozen lemonade, and it's so. Mm. I've been craving this. It's like pouring rain and cold, but the Wetzel's is where it's at. All done? And we got the Wetzel bits. Everyone told me Auntie Anne's was the best, but I couldn't find it, so I got Wetzel's and it's, it's just as good. Hey, guys. I found the best. Okay, this looks like she just had a chunk of ice in her mouth, which is like how she brushes her teeth. Hey, guys. We went down to the Cerritos Mall today to visit the beauty creations in Main Street. Wow, so I think Gianna or somebody was saying... Didn't you say this is like a mall by your house? Uh, they have changed it a lot. I believe it's more complicated. Like it's large and they need to find a booster. Car seats, science. Uh, Trisha's embodiment of what other countries think Americans are. I know. And that's why we're doomed. Uh, she looks like she's such a tourist in the worst way. She prides herself in that. Trisha is constantly a tourist, too. She even acts like a fucking tourist where she lives at. She's like, guys, let's go to this fucking place and buy gift shop shit. Everywhere she goes, she's just picking out crap. Nothing but fucking crap. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing as buying all the tourist shops. Store. Okay, so I remember, I, I did see you say something like, this is a mall by, you know, you know where this mall is. And look who we found right outside on an electronic bill. And, like, she knew this was going to happen. It wasn't, like, a fucking mystery. Okay, th they have this playing, I would only hope, for one Boy, day. That's right. My campaign for Beauty Creations. Pink oh, my God. What'd I do? I mean, how many people do you think are going to come by and fuck with this sign? I'm talking people are going to be drawing mustaches on it. Probably an upside-down cross. They might even put a fucking swastika on there. Buy filter set. All right, people are going to push that sign over for sure. Malibu does not want to go in here. It's not a good look. It's scary. The powder is out now, so we wanted to check it out in person. That's so cool. This Which they're not even ready for. They probably didn't even invite her to this come. This is the first time I've ever like seen myself in public like this. It really is a dream come true to be 30. Which is a lie. Years old and modeling for a beauty campaign. Like, I'm pretty sure she did. She, like, do a billboard with her face on it, like, right outside fucking... Jason's house Which kind of says a lot about the product. It sets really nicely. It matches. You know, since I could have had a Trisha sighting, but I don't go to the mall right at 10 a.m. 
there are probably spots you could find her at. You know, I don't condone any of that shit, but I mean, you know, where there's a smell in the air of something to eat, I think Trish is like, you know, in the, they're in spirit or they're, you know, in physical form. Edifies, it you know, just getting everything. Blurs so your skin looks youthful and you really don't need any filters. Say bye filter. Malibu was so excited that everything was pink. The store was super, super cute. So we decided to shop around because I actually haven't seen any of the seven persons. She was gifted. But you know, Trish is just going to be getting free shit here. A balloon. There's no shopping. Which she wanted to take, but we kept because we know we had lost balloons everywhere. Got a couple cups, and they just have really everything here. The packaging is so cute. Beauty Creations really knows how to do it. I really want this to be my home. This, this has got to be a crap company. I mean, is this like a big company? Beauty Creations. Can I find them on fucking Amazon? Let me see if I can just, like, look them up. See, like, I just, I can tell by review number. Like, if we do a review count, we can kind of see, you know, what, uh, the amount of people are buying this shit. What's it called? Beauty Creations? I doubt it's on Amazon. It's probably one of these, like, only in-store places. Oh, here it is. Beauty Creations. And if you look at it, this is a good way to see how many people are buying this bullshit. So there's a lot of different Beauty Creations products. You know, if it was like a hype big brand, I mean, this this one right here, the $12.97 Tease Me Palette, which is, this has got to be fucking second to like, you know, something like an eraser on your fucking pencil. Quality fucking makeup. Looking like chocolate squares. Tease Me Eyeshadow, $12.97. Crap. Typically fourteen eighty nine. Still affordable. Bullshit. What is this? For your pussy or something? What is this? The pump and dump. No, this is called the pout plump. Is this even? Oh, it is Beauty Creations. It's got this thing. Is this a tickler on her or a band-aid for your cuts? Looks like a syringe. A needle. Um, And everything here. This only has 1,600 reviews. This has 591. Here's the powder bullshit. Trisha's powder routine. 129 reviews. Let's check them out. Folks, let's check them out. Let's see what they have to say. Let's go with the worst one. One star. <laughs> uh, review of, oh my gosh, this powder so dry. This is not a dupe or a Huda Beauty. So bad. If you're uh, fair skin, this is not your match. Honey, go for a medium color skin. This... Uh, wait, this brand works with Trisha. Not a good look. Nope. Um, let's see if we got some three stars. Uh, it's not finely milled. Even the smallest amount looks ghostly. Okay. This I can't read this. Translates to English. It's probably the N word. No, it says this. This powder seals beautifully, but three stars. So not beautiful enough. The product had pretty packaging, but the texture and the texture is smooth. But it hoes on kind of... Why, why did you write hoes? But it hoes on kind of blotchy. It doesn't give the best coverage. Which that should be the number one review. Should be the number one fucking review. That it doesn't do what the picture says it does. Which nothing's perfect. But this shit... Mm -mm. Here's a picture of it on somebody. Oh yeah. Looking like a Trish. What the fuck is up, you guys? It's Lila. Welcome to my channel. Or welcome back to my motherfucking channel. If you guys... Marina, are you a real person? Or is this a fucking Google image? Five stars. Love the product. Heart face. Damn it. Shit. Let's look at some more reviews on like the other... There, there's more products on here. Let's look, let's look at the four stars. There's only one. Wow. This doesn't make any fucking sense. This is 129 global reviews. So there's five. Oh, let's look at like these fake bot reviews. Isn't cakey. Let's set up. Oh, let's make up real well and cost on point. Okay. That's full on robotic typing. Great product for the money. It's a great product. And at a great price, and definitely purchasing. I'm looking for AI mess ups. I wear this versus foundation. It's a great value for the price. Just a dab goes a long, very long way. A definitely must for your face regimen and opinion. Can I report this? 
I'm not going to do that. Okay. That's a goof. I'm not even signed in. It won't let me. This powder works great for me. I will definitely re recommend it to anyone. Why aren't there any more damn reviews? Why is it like four on one page? Here's the girl with the picture. What's up with Mariah Sanro? What do you got going on over here? What do you got going on? Do you work for fucking Beauty Creations? Oh, here's some of her other reviews. Open. Came open box. Came open box. <laughs> was this pills? Just like second day was broken zipper. Just like white part. So every year they fucking are mad about everything else. But when it comes to Trisha Paytas, you're digging it. Not a good look. It's like a fake account. Go back to these. Uh, let's go back and look at some of the other shit on here. So let's get to know the company. Fuck it, we're going back to this. I could totally live here, so we are gonna go check out. And then Malibu was finding more stuff. <laughs> She was mm -hmm. obsessed with this bottle of beauty sponges. Every time I get my makeup done, she always takes sponges from my makeup artist. Yeah, which of course she does. What is she doing? Eating them? There's cats fighting outside right now. They're like looking mean. Their cats are the scariest thing with their eyes glowing. Another scam, just like skincare line. And this is a bullshit brand. I mean, I've never heard of it. I shouldn't know about it, okay? What do you think? I'm a fool? But it doesn't even have its own page, which I think is funny. If you were, like, to look up, like, Beauty Creations, if it was, like, a big brand, it would probably have, like, their page would be, like, right here when you look it up, right? When to show, like, you know, let's just go here again and see if we can go to the Beauty Creations main page. It's just deal plus deal. Is there an actual like seller on here for beauty creations? Here's a, I'm already clicked on that. Let's see something else. Let's just click on this. Is this the beauty? Is this deal plus deal? Is that the fucking, oh brand, beauty creations. All right. So we just did this. Now they also, beauty creations makes a hinge for a door. So this is like a Tim Yu, um product. Like this is, they make all sorts of other things. Guitar Hero. Like this thing right here, cheap. Let's, uh, and everything's got botted four and a half. There's no fucking way. Like what's the worst reviewed thing? I mean, there's not a lot of reviews on here. This thing has three reviews. Some type of egg. Whatever that is. This thing looks like fun straws. I don't know what that is. Best land. It's not even the same thing. Tana, uh, Tiana, Tiana Eyeshadow Palette by Beauty Creations. This is all cheap shit. This is probably their most elegant thing. The house makeup. Looking at a fucking house. Look at this shit. Looks like carpet. Probably doesn't even come off. I feel like we need. I need to get this and do a review. Right? Drop shipping brand, cheap uh, chalky makeup, order from China. They, they have their own website. I don't even want to go that much further. But I am, I should order this. Remember how we did the Trisha Paytas experience and I dressed up as Trisha P. I had the lipstick on Fleek. Okay, if you're, if you're new here, go to the Trisha Paytas experience video on my live stream. I went full uh, drag for as long as I could handle it. I had jocks. I had the blonde strands. I was only able to handle it for about 30 minutes and I just stopped the fucking show. I said, I'll be back. And then I stopped the stream, took a fucking shower, burned everything, and then came back and did another show. Good stuff, but I should just buy one of these things, see if it's edible. 